Hey guys, welcome to this video. Today, this is the final conclusion video for Endeavor OS that I've been running for a week. Um, I must say, I enjoyed my time in Endeavor OS very much. It's uh, a beautiful system, uh, very lightweight. I tweaked it a lot. Uh, I really like the, the, the Lion uh, team that's installed, uh, especially with the colors that Endeavor is having. Uh, a nice uh, wallpaper that was in line with this as well. Uh, it's, it's a beautiful looking desktop to my opinion at least. Um, and um, yeah, my time was really good in, uh, in, uh, in, in Endeavor. Um, I never had issues with it. The only thing that I saw was in my previous videos there was some uh, flickering. The flickering is caused by uh, by Wayland uh, because Xorg doesn't have those issues with OBS and that kind of stuff, but Wayland does. Um, I managed to solve it though. I think I hope uh, I hope this uh, this video is much better, much more stable. Um, and yeah, it's it's a great operating system. Um, so let's go over the things that I saw. Uh, we went uh, we uh, finally got to uh, kernel version five point six point ten. And we only have 1,020 packages installed. So it's a minimal install, especially if you do the packages that you want to install on the system. It's perfect. It keeps running very smoothly. Uh, didn't have any crashes. Uh, all my program starts uh, pretty fast. And yeah, it's, it's a great system. I cannot say anything else. Um, Plasma didn't give me any issues. Um, I had it uh, with uh, uh, Hibernate, so I had enough memory uh, as uh, swap, uh, swap memory to be able to handle that. Uh, shut down the machine with Hibernate, uh, started it up again, no problems at all. Everything was perfectly in order. Um, so let's go over the scores. Um, let me just try and zoom in a bit. Endeavor OS. Uh, single uh, single uh, CPU score is uh, 771, so yeah, it's pretty much like the system is doing, so no surprises there. Uh, dual core is the same, so it handles the dual core pretty good. It's not the highest, it's not the lowest, uh, It's I think it's yeah on par. Memory usage, 483 megabytes so this is the the second in line of memory usage so arch on kde 445 uh, manjaro uh, manjaro and kde and therefore 483 so yeah arch is uh, and kde is still winning the the memory challenge uh, overall uh, boot time 7 27.786 it's on par with uh, the ubuntu lts edition um, not the fastest in boot, but yeah, like I said before, it's 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 pretty much okay. So you can see uh, where we are now. Uh, most of the time, everything is on par. Uh, the memory usage, you can see that that yeah, we're with the KDE and the Endeavor and an R and an Arch is is it's lower than on Debian environments. So Kubuntu is higher, uh, KDE Neon is higher. Um, so those are the two uh, Debian, but the the Manjaro, the, Ar the Arch based systems are lower in memory. So 445 and 483. So that's pretty good. So close this one. Oh, that not that one. So let me increase the size a bit and let me increase the font a bit. And um, we're gonna see what um, version of OS we're gonna run the next week. So we're gonna do the chef dash n one on the distro text. And let's see what we're gonna run. Chef command not found. Okay, I have to log into the other one. Of it. No, it's one F. Sorry. I keep doing it with twi two Fs. 
and we're gonna run Enzo OS. It's a not a known operating system for me, um, so I'm gonna look into it. In the next video, I'm gonna install it, uh, and then uh, we're gonna do a walkthrough of it, and we'll see you then. Overall, Endeavor OS, guys, art installation, very minimal. Where you can tweak it the way you like it. It's a beautiful arts environment. Uh, everything that you need is installed. So like uh, Pac-Man or Pemec, sorry, Pemec with the, the the integration of everything with J. Uh, it's all very very good. So have fun with Linux, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.